Faith of our fathers, finding God in ancient China is a journey of discovery. I'm sharing this journey because it's one filled with wonder, joy, and surprises. This is a journey that dispels unfounded myths about the ancient Chinese had no knowledge of God at all. In this journey, I discovered that the creator is not only a transcendent God, but also very personal and wants to reveal himself to humans, first through general revelation and then through specific revelation. God has laid out signposts throughout the world that we call general revelation so that people may find him. One of these signposts is the ancient Chinese recorded understanding of the character of God, whom they call Shangdi or Tian. They never made an image of Shangdi, but characterized him the same way as the Hebrew scripture did. They spoke of his omnipresence, omnipotence, omniscience, that he is love, holy, righteous, faithful, full of grace, and many other such attributes. The mandate of heaven is actually founded on this, that the ancient Chinese believe that God loves them and will assign a regent, the emperor, to rule them according to his will. The Chinese writing system is unique today as it is the only remaining ancient iconic written script in the world. Of course, with the advent of emojis, the Chinese written script may no longer be alone. While it is difficult to memorize, Chinese characters are windows to the ideas espoused by the ancients. They reveal to us what they knew and what they believed. Remarkably, there is a set of characters that reveal ancient Chinese knowledge of the creation story. This knowledge is collaborated by the archaeological discovery of a three to 4,000 year old bronze tree in Sichuan province that is 3.95 meters tall, that bears the features of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The ancient Chinese sacrificial system. This is the most continuous religious practice in China. It had lasted for a few thousand years. It only stopped once again, like um, the classics, uh, when China became a republic, but no dynasty had ever failed to continue this uh, sacrificial system, and it's officially called the border sacrifice, Jiao Ti. Why border? Because it has to be performed outside the city, and particularly on the eastern side, similar to the Hebrew practice. The sacrifice has to be performed outside. That's why Jesus was crucified outside Jerusalem. You can tell that this is a journey filled with surprises and will lead the discoverer from one truth or signpost to another until the ultimate discovery, that is the one true God. So come, join me on this journey and bring others along with you.